Hey, Pastor Bob here. A couple of thoughts I want to share with you today. First of all, tomorrow is Mother's Day, and uh, we're excited about our church at home service. In fact, we'll be premiering live at 9 a.m. on Facebook, and, and you can also see our uh, website as well as our uh, YouTube channel, places you can watch the service. We're excited about it because we have a couple of moms who are going to be sharing uh, their story and sharing some wisdom with us uh, as the, um, we celebrate Mother's Day together. We're also going to be looking at the story of Jacobed in Exodus chapter 2. You might want to read that, uh, Jacobed being the mother of Moses, and we're going to look at some lessons we can learn from her life and her story. So be sure to check that out tomorrow as we celebrate Mother's Day. And then the second thought I want to share with you is this, tomorrow's Mother's Day. and. Uh, and we recognize that for some of you, Mother's Day could be a very painful time for various reasons. Maybe you've recently lost your, your mother, or maybe your mother is not, you're not able to be with her because of some of this COVID-19 craziness. Um, or, or maybe you've just, you're have just you a woman who's always wanted to be a mother, and, and uh, for whatever reason, that's just not happened for you. So there's lots of reasons uh, that Mother's Day can be painful. And I just want to share a verse with you and encourage you in this way. In Psalms 147.3, the Bible says that God is close to the brokenhearted, and he binds up their wounds. Two things there that we, we need to be encouraged in. First of all, he's close to us. And my prayer is that in, in the midst of your pain and heartache and whatever it is that, that makes uh, Mother's Day a difficult day for you, that you can know that God is close to you. Uh, the Bible says he's a very present help in times of trouble and that we just need to oftentimes just be still and experience the love of God. And as we experience God, um, I think what we discover is he does bind up our wounds. You know, as I thought about this, I was mindful that I remember as a boy injuring my hand pretty severely. I had to go to the hospital eventually. But when I went in, um, the injury, I was kind of numb. I just knew there was a, something wrong. I'd scraped my hand running on some asphalt as I fell to catch myself, really ripped my hand wide open. And I remember my dad saying, uh, he was reading the paper and he just said, hey, there's some Band-Aids in the bathroom. And I remember going in there thinking, I can't find a Band-Aid big enough to, to do this. And when I went back in, of course, he took me to the hospital and, and we got it taken care of. And when I thought about that versus the other times when I was injured and my mom was there and I was able to go to her, I remember my mom just holding me. And moms just have that way of making things better, binding up our wounds. And I just want to remind you that as we celebrate and acknowledge Mother's Day, that God is like a mother in these ways when he is very near to the brokenhearted, and he binds up our wounds. May you know what it is to be held by a loving God, and may you experience the healing of God as he uh, binds up whatever it is that, that we are wounded about, those places where we hurt on this Mother's Day. So may God bless you. Know you're in our prayers. We'll see you online.